Hello, hello everyone. This is Deisha Johnson once again with Deisha 360. Coming to you, uh, this video, uh, I said my second video would be uh, to show you the recipe uh, that I use. And uh, these items lay on the table is what I use uh, to create the recipe for each color uh, that I use inside of um, the fluid artwork. So the first thing is I use, um, I don't know, let's see if you can see it your way, but we have uh, Master's Touch acrylic um, uh, paint. This is Master's Touch acrylic uh, paint. And this is fluorescent green. This is the only color I don't have mixed in my stand of colors, so I decided to go ahead and mix this color. And we can use this on the painting um, uh, that... Uh, I want to do today so we're going to take that and that's the paint we're going to use we also use minwax in the formula and minwax i don't know which way you can see it better but minwax is a polyurethane and what it does is it adds a shine to um the 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 painting and i use the clear gloss is what i use is the clear gloss I, all I do is take the minwax, and to make it easier for when I go ahead and mix it, I put it in a, a bottle like this, and then I put pantyhose, yes, I use pantyhose, I'm old school, to, for a strainer to keep any chunks from getting into the paint. And this is really easy to do. You just take your pantyhose, just take a piece of pantyhose, you cut a square of that. There you go. And you take that square and you stretch it over the top. And then you apply a rubber band. Give it a good stretch so you got all, all the, the areas down. You apply a rubber band. Don't get it to fly all over you like I just did. Because it just went on in my hair. <laughs> not not good, right? I have to wipe that out. Um so then you just apply the lid to there and that keeps any chunks um of polyurethane from getting into your paint. Because it can dry and it can um get into your paint. So I want to take this off because I don't need I don't need a double. I don't think it, it, it won't hurt anything. So we'll just leave that out there. And so there's our polyurethane with our with our stocking on there. The next one I do is the faux trial. Um, so after you put the paint in, you put in your min wax, then you put in your flood flow trial. The flow trial is um, it improves, it improves the flow and leveling of the paint. Um, and it, it says it eliminates brush and roller marks as well. Um, I do the same thing with the flow trial, but you have to mix this up really good. Okay, mix the flow trial up really good. You don't want it to be separated. And I do the same thing with the flow trial as I do with the Minwax. Is I put the stocking over the top so that I don't get chunks of faux trial floating in my paint. This is just to keep the paint as, as top quality as we possibly can. Uh, the last ingredient I add is water. This is just a water bottle um, full of color covered in paint. Um, but it is my water bottle and that's the last ingredient I add to any paint mixture. So um, then we test the paint with this cup. So let's get started here. We have our bottle. First thing we'll add is our paint. And we're using fluorescent green um, because it's a color I don't have mixed. Um, don't do fluorescence very often. So let's go ahead and I think I'm gonna need all of this. And I'll tell you, I'll show you how much how I measure in my world. Um this in my world, this is how I measure. This is at the end of the tube too, so 
bear with me for a second here. Don't like to waste any. Be surprised at how much is left in that tube. So, when I put this in the jar, I should have about two fingers is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for about two fingers of paint. Can you see that? It's about two fingers. If you look at it pretty good from the side, you have about two fingers. I don't know how you can see it very well, but it's two fingers of paint. I try to do about that much in polyurethane. So um, just give it a back and forth. Don't shake the polyurethane because it'll create a lot of bubbles. So I'm going to go ahead and do about a finger and a half to two fingers of polyurethane. About, about, about a finger and a half. Finger, finger and a half. Polyurethane. Okay. So we have our polyurethane in there. We have our paint. So we have those two layers. Now we're going to add our Fotrol. I happen to know the consistency of most of the paints. This is not a heavy one. Um, metallics are very heavy, so they require more water and less Floetrol. These require um, about the same amount of Floetrol and uh, very little bit of water. So we're gonna shake this Floetrol up really good. And then go ahead and fill our, fill our jar up to about two fingers to the top. So we're going with fingers. This is how we're measuring today in fingers. I'd say that's about two good, two good fingers to the top. And why do I leave that space? So I have enough space to add my water and enough space to actually shake as well. You want enough space to shake. So this is what our bottle should be looking like layer wise. Now I'm going to go ahead and add just a little water. Um, because I know the paint um, well. I can tell you what needs a little bit more water, what needs a little less water, but be, for the sake of learning, let's just put a little water in there, okay? And close that up and shake it up, and let's see where we're at. Let's look at our consistency. And okay, you're going to be shaking for a minute, okay? Because you really have to get that paint mixed up. Your Clotrol, your Minwax. Let me shake it for a minute. <sighs> okay, we're looking like we're getting mixed up there. it up and get it all mixed up so I can tell just by shaking it that it's a little thick so let's let's pour some out and let's see and that little button right there is for you to hold a cap yeah but I'm not fully mixed up together I can see that and I'm a little too thick for what I need it for okay so we're going to go back and add some more water. And you do this until you figure out how much water you need to get it at the consistency that it, it pours, it drips um, from your stick. And, and it uh, mounds very, uh, very light mound. You don't want it to mound and stay, and you don't want it to just fold into itself either. You want it to be a slight mound, and we'll, we'll show you, we'll go through um, what that looks like in just one moment here. Try to use your recycled rags if you can. Try to help the planet some. Uh, 
if you have old rags, they can be used over and over and over again. Uh, so many times. Okay, let's see here. See what our consistency is now. This is a process. Okay, it's better. I can tell it's better. Still, if you look in it, it's mounding kind of heavy here. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't know if you can see that well or not. But it is, it is creating a mound and it's not going away very quickly. So we, we want the mound to go away quicker than that. So we're going to add a little more water. And I'm going to add a little bit extra because I know I need a little bit more. It's a little thick. Okay, matter of fact, let's pour this back in there. Get that all mixed in together. Okay. This is the fun of mixing paints. Um, I try to myself mix a lot of paint at one time. I like my bottles uh, full and ready to go whenever I, the urge to paint hits me. So I try to mix, um, spend a day or, or a few hours um, just mixing different paints. And so that when I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. Let's see where we're at now. Hmm. I think we may be there. Okay, so let's see if you can see this. See how it mounts and goes away? It doesn't stay, it doesn't mount pile. It just mounts and kind of goes away. And it doesn't fold in itself. If it just folds in itself, then that would be too too um, too viscous. We would need it to be less viscous. We need it to be thicker. So I believe this is what consistency we need. We're gonna take our our paint that we've used to test, put that back in the jar, in the bottle. And just FYI, if you don't know this, you can let these cups dry out and reuse them again, so you don't have to. I'll be wasteful. The same with your sticks. I keep a bucket of sticks and um, that I reuse. I reuse my sticks, so I just take a, the stick I just used, strap it in there. It'll it'll eventually dry off, and I can reuse it again, and that helps save the planet as well. Um, People say, are you a tree hugger? Well, somebody need to hug these trees. We need to hug this whole entire planet. So, so there we are. That is how I do my recipe. Remember, um, on recap, I do two fingers of paint, of acrylic paint. I do one to one and a half fingers of men wax, polyurethane. Uh, and that's the clear, I use the clear gloss. It depends on how much gloss you want in your painting. Uh, I use the Flood Flow Trawl. And uh, do that all the way up to two fingers to the top of your bottle. Then, after you do that, you begin to add your water. Remember that metallics would need, would need more water. Uh, your Some of your other colors would need less water. It just depends on uh, the paint itself. And then you want to really shake it up really good. Excuse me, and you want to test it. Uh, you want to test it out in a cup to make sure um, that the consistency mounds and then goes away. Mounds and dissipates very quickly. Uh, you don't want it too viscous where it folds in itself and it doesn't mound at all. And you want all your paints to be similar consistency because if you don't, you'll have cracking. And you'll know what that is one day when your paints don't mix correctly. They will crack. They will not um, go gel well with one another. And because one is thick and one is thin, then it'll cause cracking. So you don't want that in, in, your, uh, in your paint. 
So try to make sure that they're all very consistent, um, shook up very well, and um, use your little, this is my suggestion, because you don't want paint dripping down the bottle like that. It'll drip down. So when you shake it, it drips. I like to put my finger on top and shake it. Then there's no paint coming from here, dripping down. So that is my recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Deasha Johnson with Deasha 360 doing a little bit of um, recipe making for our fluid art, for our pour paintings. If you have any questions uh, or comments, please leave them below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you in your journey as you um, as you pour. All right, thank you. Take care. Bye.